Okay, Alan, thanks for joining us. Uh, lots to talk about. Um, let's start with the game on Saturday against Falkirk. Uh, it wasn't ideal uh, in terms of the result, obviously, and the performance was a bit disappointing as well, wasn't it? Definitely. Um, even with the team we put out, I still thought we could have done a lot better. Um, with good turnout there as well, so it's always disappointing we don't get the result. Back to league business this weekend, and as Queen of the South, your former club, um, always a difficult place to go, Palmerston, as you know. It is. Uh, a few boys obviously played here before. It's great to see Dicey back playing regular and doing well. Um, he's a big player for us. Um, Sean Rooney as well, good to see him back playing as well. So, no, it's, uh, it'll be good to catch up with a lot of the boys. But the most important thing is going down and getting the result. A difficult side, as always, a, a really good championship side, Queen of the South, and they've got guys like Stephen Dobby up front who are always going to be dangerous going forward. They've got a lot of quality going forward. Um, obviously, you mentioned Dobby, who's a class act, but they've got guys like Derek Lyle, Chris Kane. Um, so we've got a lot of options up front that can obviously change games and score goals, so we've got to make sure we have to defend well. If we take out the, the match against Falker there in the Challenge Cup, uh, last time we got beat in the league was, was Morton, and then we bounced back really well the following week. So we've got to be by Dundee United, you'll be looking for a similar reaction in the league this week. Definitely, we changed the team about, obviously the Fall Cup game, you've got guys like Nat playing out of position. Um, we had a couple of boys that maybe hadn't played a lot of games regular um, over the last few games, so it's always difficult when you change a team. So no excuses this weekend, it's a game we're all looking forward to. We want to make sure we're on the front foot and we want to make sure we get the win. And you'll be glad to see the return of Callum Morris, Ryan Robinson and the rest of the international boys as well. Yeah, uh, big players for us. You can see that um, we, we probably missed them last week with the qualities they bring to the team. Um, so no, we're, it's an important period coming up. You look at the fixture list coming up, it's all against big teams. We want to make sure we we get a result against Queen's and we can carry a bit of momentum forward. If we do get a result against Queen's, that's the end of the first quarter. If you compare it to the first quarter of last season, um, it's a vast improvement, but it says a lot how far we've come that we're probably disappointed that we haven't got even more points. You'd want to win every game, but I think this league it's going to be difficult to do that because there's so many similar teams. I think there's going to be a lot of twists and turns over the course of the season because um, there's no easy games. There's probably one or two teams that maybe aren't as strong. Uh, I think that's fair to say. And then everyone else can be, can beat each other. So um, you need to make sure you're at it every game. We were down to the bare bones on the last weekend with the players being away and a couple of injuries as well. How are we looking on the injury front and there's some suspension news as well? Yeah, Nat's back. Uh, maybe get Probably hadn't been training in the last couple of days, uh, got a knock off Sean Murdoch at the weekend against Fall Cup, so he should be fine. Uh, it's probably the only three injuries we've got just now is Joe, Michael, Payton and Hoppy. And suspension to Dean Shields as well, he's going to be out. Yep, uh, the, obviously that was this morning that that got heard, um, so it got rejected. So he's a big loss for us as well, but it gives somebody else an opportunity to come in.